I analyze past 12 years gate air own rangers and in this video we will see what all of them are doing now and earning now. Starting with the richest air one in the recent decade. This is Bebas on Chatterjee. Gate 2013 CS air one. No evidence why he started his gate preparation. I started preparing seriously from 4th year. Got air one in his first attempt in final year. Then did MTech from IISC. Post graduated in 2015 with offer from Amazon India. At that time itself the role he was working he was getting around 60 lakhs to 1.2 crore a year worked there for three years then boom got into facebook london currently if you look at his estimated salary as software engineer with six years of experience from levels.fil where they verify salary based on salary submissions using offer letters and pay statements we can confidently say that he is earning 5.2 crore a year and 2013 is also the year where GATE exam had witnessed some of the unorthodox toppers of all time. GATE E A R one MTech PhD postdoc IASC, now assistant professor at IIT KG. 2013 civil A R one he was already 22 engineering services exam A R one information on what he is doing currently, but you and I can confidently say that he'll be working in a PSU and less chances of working as an IAS officer. How? Because GATE 2013 has the highest registrations in its history, 1.2 million registration, a sharp price from 2.3 lakh registrations in 2009 because of 15 PSUs officially signed MOU with GATE committee stating GATE as their entry level criteria for their recruitment. Now this is also the reason I made this video. Despite a record high registrations in 2013, exactly 10 years after, in 2023, the registrations were just 6.7 lakhs. Why? This directs us to the reality that failure percentage in gate every year is around 84%. So what's in for them? We'll talk about it with evidences. But before that, here are the details of other 2013 toppers. Gate MEAR1, MTech IASC, worked in General Electric for 6 years. Currently a faculty at Gate Wall. Estimated earnings minimum 5 to 10 lakhs a month. Gate ECAR1, limited information, but in an interview. Nenu, uh, ipadu... But also, despite 2013 toppers made ambitious move, 2013 is also the year no average student shouldn't have attempted GATE. This is also the year GATE organizing committee increased its registration fees from 1000 rupees to 1200 rupees. And sadly, this is also the year GATE exam had the least qualification percentage in its history, just 13 percentage. And I believe it's primarily because many aspirants gave GATE their preparation. Moving on to 2014, another year GATE Gate organizing committee increased registration fees. In 2014, again there was an increase in fees from 1200 rupees to 1500 rupees. Yet there was over 1 million registrations, second highest in the history of Gate. Now, what confuses me the most was the career choice of civil stream all in the Arang on Rangers. Despite limited information on Gate 2014 civil air one on what he is doing now, you and I with 99.999999 percentage accuracy can guess what he is doing now. Let me give you a hint. Gate 2015 CAR IS officer. Gate 2016 Civil AR1. Limited information. Gate 2017 Civil AR1. IS officer. Gate 2018 Civil AR1. IS officer. Gate 2023 Civil AR1. IS officer. Adding on top of that, what surprises me is Gate 2015 Civil AR1, BTEC IIT Delhi, Gate 2018 Civil AR1, BTEC IIT Gohati, Gate 2019 Civil AR1, BTEC IIT Bombay, Gate 2024 Civil AR1, IIT Gandhi. I don't know why it's like that, if anyone knows, let me know in the comments. But despite all of that, Gate 2014 ECE AR1 rangers made ambitious move compared to the rest of other E and EC AR1 rangers. Before checking out them, if you are preparing for upcoming year Gate and ESC and looking for quality and affordable coaching, I would recommend GateWall. As it is one of the most loved among students and in 2025, their students stopped their exams with one of their AR1, got AR1 in his third year itself. Right now, their courses are at huge discounts for a limited time. I have attached the links in description to enroll now. And you can get additional discount 500 rupees for using code RAGU500. Batch details. Vijay Gate 2026 Rank Improvement Batch B. 5999. Parakram 2.0 Gate 2026 Batch B. English English. 7200. Parakram 2.0 Gate 2026 Batch B English Computer Science and DA 7999 Sesha 2.0 Gate 2027 Batch B English 9400 Parakram 2.0 2026 ESC Plus Gate Plus PSU 7999 Sesha 2.0 ESC Plus Gate 2027 15999 Parakram 2.0 Gate 2026 Plus PSUs Plus Place 
operation computer science and it 11999 tracer 2.0 gate 2027 plus psu plus place of operation computer science and it 15999 tracer gate 2027 batch b chemical 4999 now also experience infinite learning with batch infinity from pw offering gate kazana pvq books and more don't miss it out enroll now gate 2014 ea1 ankit goel gold medalist from iit indoor just after getting ea1 he founded a gate coaching institute which was later occurred by Anna Academy, there he became assistant vice president. Usually average salaries for AVPs is around 26.1 lakhs per annum. But Anna Academy salaries for senior positions can go up to 83.9 lakhs per year. Quit that job one year back and founded exam those. Gate Easy Air 1, Akash. Did MTech at IASC, currently CEO of RFMW Innovations Lab. A small company with around 110 employees, but as a financial year ending 31st March 2023, revenue generated 3.52 crore and his estimated earnings as a CEO is 20 lakhs to 50 lakhs in a year. And MEC 2014 AR1, now an IES officer. Now Raghu, what is those IES officers earning now? In one line based on the official pay structure, their starting salary per month including allowances, deductions and tax will come close to 1 lakh and based on their experience and promotions, it can go up to 3 lakhs a month. And I think in 2014, a really good move from GATE committee was, they made GATE exam completely online. Before that half of the streams were paper based and that also explains 1500 rupees increment and coming to 2015 toppers if i graduated in 2015 then i would have never given gates look at this gate 2015 ea1 btech iit mandi gate 2015 civil ar1 btech iit delhi gate 2015 eca ar1 btech nit raipur gate mea ar1 limited information gate 2015 cs ar1 btech iit Kanpur. and does anyone give gate exam just like that because this this Anna had 9.1 CGPA in his BTEC. Despite IIT Bombay already mentioned in 2014 admissions that IIT degree holders having CGPA above 8 are exempted from requirement of gate qualification. <laughs> That too, in that year, GATE ECAR1, now an assistant professor at IIT BHU, and completed the exam in just like 1 hour 30 minutes. Who doesn't think that only IITians and NITians can only crack GATE in 2015? And I had a lot of self-doubt at that time. Actually. And this is what every GATE 2015 AR1 is doing now and their estimated salary. But looking at 2015 toppers, I may have changed my path because I often have a lot of self-doubt in 2015. But statistically, in 2016, there was a sharp rise in registration. And that's when ISC made GATE as one of the toughest exam in the country. Why? Number one. Students bother taking bits under calculator. Number two. Some genius students were solving complex equations by using calculator. I'm a very, very bad man. If you're bad, I am your dad. King of 2016 toppers in computer science, 2016 AR1 is the only one in CSE in past 12 years opted to become an IAS officer. Yes, you heard it right. IAS. After GATE, she had worked in DRD and was parallelly preparing for civil services. And in her fourth attempt in 2020, she got All India rank 3 in civil services. And 2016 ELEC AR1 went to PGCAL PSU job. Civil MEEC AR1 limited information. And GATE 2016 is the beginning of the end. Because from this year onwards, the registration started to decrease gradually year by year. And in 2013, nearly after 10 years of PSU's entry into the gate, the registrations were just 6.7 lakhs, nearly half of the registrations from 2013. During this startup decline, there were some students who shared their opinion in Quora, stating that there are many under 100 rankers who aren't placed in PSU's from EC. Following up, so if out of 1.5 lakh candidates, even a rank of 100 doesn't guarantee your PSU's PSU selection, then logically there is no point appearing from that branch. But registrations were also dropping in CS, Mechanical and ELEC branches. Another student mentioned the success ratio is very low in GATE. Only 16 out of 100 are qualifying. Furthermore, he mentions rather than giving GATE, many students apply for exams like CAT, CMAT, RRB, SSE and GRE. Good ranks or scores in these exams give more opportunity to the students. Now this brings us to the question whether GATE exam is worth it or not. Welcome to the reality of 
get exam let's look at the first aspect only 16 out of 100 are getting qualified in gate does that mean gate exam is difficult gate qualifying marks every year for every stream is around 25 marks and stat says nearly 50 to 60 percentage of these questions will be easy means if a person just understood all concepts and knows how to use the formula he will be able to get 50 but we don't have to cover that much portion as well aptitude and max alone has a weightage of 28 marks in gate and if you put dedicated effort for 20 days you can master it now you tell me whether gate exam is hard to crack or not talking of opportunities if we look from data most people writing gate are for psu jobs and there are many things out of control number of psu's opening it vacancies number of vacancies and above all competition is also high so the opportunity for psu's will be only for very few Stephen Covey, author of seven habits of highly successful people a book that has been sold over 40 million copies in worldwide in 50 languages in that book the first habit he was mentioning was be proactive it means you are responsible for everything in that chapter he explains that successful people focus their efforts on what they can do rather than what they can't control and as a result more opportunities they will attract ultimately living a successful life this also explains why some gate disqualified students prepares for cmi institute entrance exams and develop in demanding skills there and end up getting a package of 20 lpa 30 lpa this is also why i want to dedicate this video to one one particular all india rank one who is the most impacted gate ar1 not for the reason you think whom i came to know after my gate journey wish i know him before my gate journey despite that till today he made a huge impact in my career growth. thank you sir i will talk about him very soon but let's talk about 2017 toppers the unbelievable people in the history of gate this is deval patel gate 2017 cs ar1 did you know from june i have started preparing he got all in the rank one in six months starting from scratch while i was interviewing him your preparation journey how much full length mock test you had given one one <laughs> I told that you have given only one mock test so what was your score in that test uh, so I did not score, I did not attempt it fully first of all. I had made his interview and will be live soon. So if you are preparing for it, make sure to subscribe. Then he joined IS, become a gold medalist there. <laughs> Then he joined Samsung, he quit Samsung and started his own coaching now. Gate MEA, what was your final score? Final in the in the gate exam. Ah, that was uh, 94 point something. That's crazy. One become the first person I ever know was from Tier 3 college who had cracked gate in first attempt without coaching and with college. Currently in his fourth year of PhD at TU Delft, earning approximately 3539 euros per month, which in Indian currency is 3.28 lakhs per month. Gate EAR1 his interview in youtube had the highest views in youtube compared to any other gate wrangler after gate he did m tech at iit bombay currently aiml lead design engineer at cadence design systems earnings will be around 40 to 50 lp gate ec ar1 limited information now even though in 2017 the registrations are getting low the qualification percentage starts to increase and the reason is the rise of many good coaching institutes now in next 60 seconds let me share you the details of gate ar1 rangers from 2018 to 2024 notably in 2019 gate e ar1 got 97.33 marks at that time that was the highest mark scored in gate exam until gate 2022 civil ar1 who scored 97.36 marks in gate till now he is the only one who secured the highest marks in the history of gate exam and gate 2018 me ar1 actually didn't had any interest in gate exam he was a 2007 ranger did mtech in iisc worked in private sector he quits that job reason like in private mein fir aapko pata hai ek like job security to wo thoda rehta hai aur ge ki jaise like aap share price bhi dekho ya last two okay. years ki performance bhi aap... so he prepared for esc exam and in that process he had given gate and got ar1 he is currently an is officer and same with gate e ar1 ankit goyal remember the only ar1 who started a coaching institute just after getting his rank he had the exam again in 2018 to just get a feel of how an aspirant feels in a gate environment and gate 2018 csar1 currently working in google bangalore their estimated salary is 65 lakhs the highest 
highest among all All India Rang One Rangers who is currently working in India. And in 2019, I don't know what all AR One opted for government job over M Tech, including CS. And these are the details of AR One Rangers of 2018, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, and 24. Now, till this date, I had watched hundred plus interviews of Gate AR One Rangers and even interviewed few of them. Here's here's who inspired me the most. Let me share his journey in next 30 seconds. That student from the first day of his B Tech never spent time with his friends. Attends every class, maintained 9.5 plus CGPA in all semesters, and in his final year. He got Gate AR One and placed in a big MNC. And yes, I even personally interviewed toppers like that, but none of them inspires me as close as the person I'm gonna talk about. The person I'm actually talking about was from Rajasthan. Was good in his studies in his school days, but not in his college. He even had a backlog in college. Graduated jobless in 2017. Decided to give Gate 2018, the year where registrations for Gate started to decline. Took coaching, gave Gate 2018, 2019, and 2020, and in 2021 he. Decided to quit his gate preparation because you know what happened next. That person's name is Akash Dil, gate 2021 EAR1, currently working in ONGC. What I realized after hearing his story is, true champions are the ones who defy all the odds and become successful. So stay driven. And if you are preparing for gate 2026, then the next 15 seconds is for you. Recently, I analyzed the AR1 rankers of gate ESC and UPS. Not everyone, but those before their preparations were an average student. And also from Tier Three College, yet they made greatest academic comeback in life. And what I found is they did the basic things correctly, from staying consistent, creating a strategy, and every problems they faced. I have shared their principles with evidences in this video. Do check it out. As I believe it will increase the chances of your success in Gate 2026. Bye bye.